years ago, I became an economic hitman. Let me explain what that is and why you want to become an economic hitman. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has bought training. And I want to say thank you to the people who are about to buy training. Plus, shout out to the nerd tribe. Years and years ago, I know this is going to sound really, really crazy. I used to be what one would consider a black militant. When I was in the West End, I had this ideal of going ahead and approaching all of the elderly people in the neighborhood and say, look, we want to buy your home. You can live into it and that once you die, we will take over your hotel, your home. I had this huge community plan, this huge community revitalization plan. And it slowly began to dawn on me that no one gave a damn. <laughs> you know, here I am like, let's do this for black folks. Let's set this up. And the reality is when it came to doing the hard work, making the personal sacrifices, uh, no one was really interested in doing that. And it was very, very disappointing because I was 100 percent about black empowerment black success, black excellence. And the more that I drove into the whole black spear, the more that I realized that the average black person did not care, just simply didn't care. But I went ahead and I became an economic hitman. And what I did is I went into the white community I went into the Hispanic community, Indian community, and the Asian community and sold products and services and took that money back to my black self. That's what you want to do because, you know, there's this movement between doing business, being a black business owner, catering to black audiences. And that's all well and good. However, I want to expand the conversation. When I wrote my f What's going on? My name is Glendon Cameron, and I want to introduce you to the corporate game. What is the corporate game? The corporate game is a collegiate level educational portal that will teach you how to have your best version of your life. I got a question. What would you do if you had the money that you needed to have the life that you wanted to have. And for the average American, an additional $3,000 per month makes a huge, huge difference. So this is the collegiate level corporate game, teaching you things about business, money, corporate structures, business credit, all of that, plus a lot more. Now here is the deal. You can start a business. You can do it with the right level of training and the right level of execution. And here's the thing that you have to understand. Starting this business is going to take time. I know that we are in a situation where every day you're hit over the head with information saying that you can take this course, you can hack this, and you can literally quit your job in 30 days. This isn't that. You can do it, but it's going to take time. And one of the things is, and this is something that I never hear anyone talking about, is that you have to change who you are to go ahead and to set up a situation where you can become a corporate citizen. And what's a corporate citizen? A corporate citizen is a person through a job or a combination of businesses that makes $250,000 per year at this level you can get rich you can become a millionaire within 10 years following this blueprint and that's what we give you in the corporate game what it is and how to play so if you want to sign up if you want to be a millionaire within the next 10 years go ahead sign up for the corporate game the link is in the first comment first book my digital product making money a to z with self-storage and auctions 
the majority of my customers who bought that book were white. So, it, you know, it's hard to become an economic hit man. You could become a successful entrepreneur by serving and catering to black folks, but your reach is going to be limited because you're only serving black folks. And what I did, and I remember the time that I had achieved economic hitman status. There was a restaurant that I used to go to quite frequently. And um, there was this girl in there who was very cute. And one day I was asking about her. And then one of the guys who were in the restaurant told me that they had to get rid of her because she was a little bit too mouthy and she would be saying stuff to people like you, business owners such as yourself. And at that moment, I kind of, you know, exited the conversation. And on my way home, I was thinking, we never had a conversation about me being, I've never really, you know, I would go in there often, but I never told this guy that I owned a business. I never see this was in Buckhead and the wait staff, they know who's a business owner. They know who's a poser. They know who has money. They know who doesn't have money. And at that moment, my continence, the way that I carried myself, let people know that I was a businessman without saying a damn word. At that moment, I had achieved elite economic hitman status that people recently I uh, was at um, the Porsche dealership and I was having a talk with the salesman and he said something similar. He says, you know, the people who come in here and pay cash for these cars, they look like you. They dress like you. You know, they walk in. You don't think they, you know, you this is one of the things that they know at this Porsche dealership. They know never to ever judge anyone by what they drive up in or what they walk in or how they dress. He said, literally, they have millionaires walking through the door all of the time and you would never know it. So this is something because once again, whenever I go in the dealership, I get the best treatment. Everyone's very nice and they don't know anything about me, but they know that economic hitmen do not look like posers. They know this because essentially here's the thing. When you get money, you get status. You get to a point where you really don't care what anyone thinks of you. You don't care what anyone thinks of where you live, what you drive, which you, you really don't. You do that stuff for you. You do it for yourself. And this is why you want to become an economic hitman. And, you know, the, the purest definition of an economic hitman is someone that goes into the marketplace, takes money out the marketplace and brings it back home. That's an economic hitman. You know, um, you kind of sort of have economic hitmen in the social media space, but they're not really economic hitmen because here's the thing with social media. Social media is extremely fickle. You could be on one day, you could be off the next day. Whereas when you create a durable, solid business, you don't have that problem. You don't have that problem. I've been making money for 24 years because I've been an economic hitman. I've been going into marketplaces. I've been serving audiences. I've been serving customers from physical products to digital products. I've I've done the whole gamut. But here's the thing. When you become an economic hitman, you actually know how to make money. And this is something because once again, uh, this is YouTube. I'm not trying to start any YouTube beefs, but there's a lot of people who are putting out information that is purely for themselves, meaning Hey, come watch my YouTube channel so I can get paid. Not necessarily my advice is going to help you make money or my advice is going to help you level up. I am just putting on a good show. 
And there's a lot of people who are not even close to economic hitmen, because essentially when you become an economic hitman and there's there's levels to this, there's levels to this. Uh, you could be your name could be Ed and Ed, you have a job and you're starting a small business. And about year two, you hit economic hitman status. You're going into the marketplace and you're pulling dollars out of the marketplace. You're just pulling dollars out the marketplace. And, you know, for me, going back to my black militant roots, I felt that I had hit economic hitman status base level when I had a large Hispanic customer base. When I was in the storage auction business, I had a really, I would say 65% of my regular customers were Hispanic. So to go into different communities and extract money out of that community makes you an economic hitman. Asians, um, people who have these convenience stores and black community, they're economic hitmen. They're going into that community and they're pulling dollars out. And that's what you want to do. And I'm not saying that the Asian proprietors of business owners are wrong. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is they are economic hitmen. They've gone in because this is what's funny. There's this um, fish place in the cater. I think it's JJ's Fish. It's owned by Hispanics. They are an economic hitman because the place is always packed because they serve fried fish, fried shrimp, and Hispanics. I, I don't know who owns it, but I know that over the years it went from a black crew to a Hispanic crew. And I don't know the ownership, but I wouldn't be surprised if an Hispanic own this restaurant wouldn't be surprised wouldn't surprise me at all because here's the thing to become an economic hitman you got to put in the work you know you you cannot fake it you cannot play around you literally have to put in the work you have to show up you have to participate you have to go into marketplaces grab dollars and pull them out and one of the things that I'm, I, I'm really proud to say that I am on this journey to create 50,000 corporate citizens a corporate citizen is a person who has an income or a combined income of 250,000 why that number why not a million why not 10 million because $250,000 would literally transform the financial life of the average person. I know I, I, I put up something where someone was like, well, $3 million is not wealthy. Um, once again, to the posers, to the wet dudes, to I, I, once again, the average person is so financially pressed that an additional $3,000 per month is life changing. It's, it's life changing because, you know, uh, once again, uh, I did some research. I went ahead and went to the Google machine and looked up all of the jobs and I looked at what percentage that these jobs represented in the economy. I went to the government sector, I went to the private sector and 80% of Americans make less than $35,000 per year. So for those 85% of Americans, an additional $3,000 a month is like a 100% increase in their revenue. They went from 3,000 a month to now 6,000 a month. That's a 100% increase. It is life changing. Because, you know, once again, I, I don't feel that the average American wants a Bugatti. I don't, I don't think that the average uh, person wants to live in a mansion. I feel that the average person wants to be financially comfortable. And $6,000 per month, which is $72,000 a year, will move many of average Americans to a level of financial 
comfort, meaning that they can pay their bills, they have money to save, they have money to invest, and they have money to do the things they want to do in their life. So here's some the good news. When you become an economic hitman, I will talk about um, when I left my first job and I started GC Solutions. There was two versions of GC Solutions. There was um, the used furniture version and the new furniture version. The used furniture version made $250,000 pure profit. Uh, the new furniture version did 1.6 million, but I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. So I cost myself a great deal of profit. Only made about $40,000 profit off of 1.6 million in sales. I had roughly about three hundred to four, about three fifty to four hundred thousand dollars in screw ups. A lot of money, a lot of money. I lost a whole bunch of money, and um, then I got into the storage auction business. And incidentally, GC Solutions and the new furniture business cost me virtually zero. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the LLC in zero dollars for the new version that's what it cost me to start this business that made 1.6 million gross revenue so then i got into the storage auction business where i stayed for almost 10 years and that's where i really learned how to be an economic hitman like i said 65 percent of my customers were hispanic uh, I would say 25% were black and the rest were white and Indian. And then when I came to YouTube and I created my book, because here's the thing. Back in the day, there were not a lot of black people on the storage auction trail. When I was exiting the storage auction trail, black folks started to come out. There was Dave Spivey, Michael Wise, there was me. There was literally a handful of black folks on the storage auction game. And oddly enough, when I wrote my book, the shows came out. Um, that's when black folks got interested on, unfortunately, the tail end of the storage auction business. I, I don't know what the storage auction business is like today. I don't participate. I feel that the majority of storage auctions have gone online really don't know how that's working out so i couldn't tell you but i can tell you how to become an economic hitman you go to the marketplaces you grab dollars and you pull them out that's being an economic hitman and literally if you can develop that skill set you will never ever go hungry again you will never ever suffer um how to get money you just you will never because you're literally bam, 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 shooting dollars, shooting dollars and bringing them home. And this is one of the things, and this is why I talk, the noise that I talk about YouTube content creators. Do you understand that only 17% of YouTube content creators actually make money? And of that 17%, it's the 1%, the top 1% of that 17% that makes 90% of the YouTube revenue. So the YouTube revenue is not unilaterally divided. And that's one of the reasons. This year, I'm on track to do 100K in YouTube AdSense revenue. That's the highest I've ever earned. The year that I made a million dollars from YouTube, I probably made $4,000 AdSense. So for me, participating in marketplaces, going in, grabbing dollars and pulling them out is the way that I get down. And YouTube is, I would put YouTube in the venue of entertainment. Um, movie stars, baseball players, football players, basketball players, Lewis Hamilton, the race car driver. They are not economic hitmen. They're entertainers, they're athletes, and the marketplace throws money at them, but they don't go into the marketplace and grab dollars. So I don't consider you know, even the most financially successful YouTubers to even be close to economic hitman because 
they're operating on an entertainment model. Entertainment is different, like, you know, football games. Football, it's entertainment. You know, a football game, you go to a football game, there's all the fans in the stand, they're dressed all crazy. That's that's a show, it's entertainment. It's not about marketplaces. Now, the NFL as a whole is an economic hitman because the NFL has a product and they go out and they grab dollars out the marketplace. And the NFL has a lot of products. They have the football teams, they have the apparel, they have their NFL programs. They have a lot of stuff that's going on. So the instant NFL as an institution is an economic hitman because they go to marketplaces and withdraw dollars. But the individual athletes are not economic hitmen unless, and this is something I was thinking about. If you were to take one of the Like right now, Jalen Hurts, the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles, is really hot, really hot. If Jalen Hurts was to come out with a clothing brand and leverage his um, attention in the NFL, he could create a $10 million clothing brand just like that because he's so hot right now. And this is what Kanye has done. Kanye has created uh, Yeezys. This is what Dr. Dre has done. This is what Rihanna has done. They leverage their attention into money. And this is something that Jalen Hurts can do right now. Um, Tua could do it. But, you know, I don't know if their minds are anywhere like that. Uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady could literally launch a clothing brand tomorrow and make millions but at that point they would become economic hitmen so why do you want to be an economic hitman number one it's a skill set that anyone can learn in time Um, some of these things that i've learned it's literally taken me years to learn Uh, like cold calling cold calling took me about six months of being on the phone to actually get it to the point where I was controlling the people I would call. It's a very interesting skill set to develop, but you want to become an economic hitman because I think it is the best way because you're just shooting dollars. You're just shooting dollars. You're going into the marketplace and you're grabbing a bunch of dollars and you're pulling them out. It's best thing ever. Best thing ever. So you want to be an economic hitman. You want to actually participate in the marketplace and learn the skill sets of being an economic hitman because this can literally change your life. To get into the corporate game, it's going to be in the first comment. There's a promo code right now where you can get 70% off. Jump in right now. Go ahead and get that. And there's going to be some more things coming as we build. What's going on? My name is Glendon Cameron, and I want to introduce you to the corporate game. What is the corporate game? The corporate game is a collegiate level educational portal that will teach you how to have your best version of your life. I got a question. What would you do if you had the money that you needed to have the life that you wanted to have? And for the average American, an additional $3,000 per month makes a huge, huge difference. So this is the collegiate level corporate game, teaching you things about business, money, corporate structures, business credit, all of that, plus a lot more. Now, here is the deal. You can start a business. You can do it with the right level of training and the right level of execution. And here's the thing that you have to understand. Starting this business is going to take time. I know that we are in a situation where 
every day you're hit over the head with information saying that you could take this course, you can hack this, and you can literally quit your job in 30 days. This isn't that. You can do it, but it's going to take time. And one of the things is, and this is something that I never hear anyone talking about, is that you have to change who you are to go ahead and to set up a situation where you can become a corporate citizen. Now, what's a corporate citizen? A corporate citizen is a person through a job or a combination of businesses that makes $250,000 per year at this level you can get rich you can become a millionaire within 10 years following this blueprint and that's what we give you in the corporate game what it is and how to play so if you want to sign up if you want to be a millionaire within the next 10 years go ahead sign up for the corporate game the link is in the first comment